We're now going to use our knowledge of trigonometry to f and our angles in standard position to find missing angles. So the first step in any problem is to always see if you can make a diagram to visualize the problem. And negative 4, negative 3 is right here. We're going to draw it with the terminal arm going towards the origin. And that means that we've got a triangle with the x-axis here, a right angle triangle, where this is negative 4, this is negative 3. And some of you might recognize this as the 3, 4, 5 triangle, or you could use Pythagoras to calculate the radius. So what uh, angle is, what point is this quadrant in? Well, it's in quadrant 3. The reference angle is this one right here. So to calculate that, we're going to use the tan ratio. So the tan ratio of that angle is y over x. So the tan ratio is negative 3 over negative 4. And to find the angle, I'm going to take the inverse tan of the ratio. So tan to the negative 1 of 3 over 4. And that equals 37 degrees if you round to the nearest degrees. So this is 37 degrees here. So the reference angle is 37 degrees. Find the angle in standard position, however, means I'm going to start over here and go all the way around to the terminal arm. So that's 180 degrees plus 37 degrees. So the angle in standard position is 217 degrees. So let's give this another shot. This time we have a triangle that is in going one over and four down. So that's right here. It's in quadrant four. And the reference angle is the angle it makes with the x-axis. So this is really tempting. Um, to use the y-axis, but you have to draw this skinny triangle up towards the x-axis. This distance is 1, and this distance is negative 4. So the we're going to have to calculate the radius here. Uh, no, we're not going to have to calculate it. The reference angle is this angle right here. And we're going to use the tan ratio to calculate that. So the tan ratio is y over x, which is negative 4 over 1. And that's just negative 4. So I'm going to take the inverse tan of negative 4. And I get an answer of negative 76 degrees. That's rounded to the nearest decimal place. So that this negative indicates the direction here. So the reference angle is actually just 76 degrees because reference angles are always positive so this angle here is 76 degrees. Now in angle in standard position though we're going to go from the x-axis all the way around so that is stand in standard position It's 360 degrees minus 76 degrees. And um, it's 284 degrees to the nearest degree. So in this case, we're given a different um, set of starting information. We're not told the point, but we do know that the sine ratio um, is negative. That means we know it's going to be in this quadrant or in this quadrant because all of them are positive here and the sine is positive here, which means the sine is negative in the other two quadrants. Um, and we also know that the tan is negative. So the tan is negative, positive here. That means we can't be talking about this quadrant. So this is the winning quadrant, quadrant four. So let me make that in green here. Quadrant 4 is where the answer is. Now we are going to use the sine ratio to calculate the angle. So angle theta is the inverse sine of negative 5 over 13. 
and angle theta equals 22.6 degrees negative. So we're just going to round that to the nearest degree, whole degree, so that's negative 23. So that tells you that it's going this way and that's 23 degrees. So the reference angle is 23 degrees. So theta reference equals 23 degrees. Now we want to measure the angle going all the way counterclockwise up to here. So in standard position, the angle is 360 degrees minus 23, which is 337 degrees.